so when it gets closer. Yeah. <coughs> Let me know when it's two and nine. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ahmadu wa usalli ala Rasul al-Karim. Amma ba'd fa'ud billahi min al-Shaytan al-Rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa'ad Allah al-Ladina amanu minkum wa amilu al-Salihati la yastakhlifannahum fi al-Ard. Kama astakhlifan ladina min qablihim. ولا يمكنن أن أهم دينهم الذي دينهم الذي ارتضى لهم ولا يبدلن من بعد خوفهم أمنا يعبدونني ولا يشركوا بي شيئا ومن كفر بعد ذلك فأولئك هم الفاسقون رب الشح لي صدري ويسل لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفكه قولي اللهم أرنا الحق حقا وزقنا الطباء وأرنا الباطل باطلا وزقنا اجتنابا اللهم وفقنا لما تحب وترضى اللهم سل وسلم على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وأسحابه وأزواجه إلى يوم الدين أما بعد today we are going through a very important historical time and certain things have happened in the last 72 hours that are really historic and therefore require Quranic guidance on the situation that we find ourselves in. And it would be intelligent for a Muslim to understand what is happening and also understand what is the Quranic guidance regarding what is happening. First point I want to make which not a lot of people have understood and internalized and that is that the Prophet <clears throat> number one did not come to bring, bring people into partial obedience to Allah. The Prophet came to bring people into complete obedience to Allah. What does that mean? I'm praying, I believe in Allah, I fast, I pray, I do my hajj, I go for my umrah, I go for ziyarah, I'm eating only halal, but my bank is on riba. And we know what Allah said about riba. Allah has declared war against riba. And no riba system is going to ever be successful. It will ultimately come to an end. So therefore you can expect the entire global riba infested loan giving profit system to ultimately crash because Allah says, Yamhakullahu riba. Allah destroys riba. And we've seen, you can say, tremors of that through the housing crisis that happened in 2008 and the crisis is by which the government had to bail out first the American automobile industry then had to bail out Freddie Mac and all the big business all the big banks of America had to be bailed out because the whole system is a system that is ultimately going to fail <clears throat> what is my point my point is Allah does not want partial obedience. If Allah is at war with me, then how can we help Palestine? If Allah is at war with the Muslims and the Muslim leadership that is participating, it is as futile, this economic system is as futile as trying to go to the United Nations and asking help for Palestine. It's, that's, futile, that's, that's how futile it is. It doesn't matter if you go to the United Nations and the United Nations agrees with you, still it's not going to change anything. The protests alone are not going to change anything. But shame on the Muslims that the non-Muslims are protesting and Muslims are doing nothing. Shame on the Muslims that Allah is allowing non-Muslims to stand up and see the truth slowly. 
So many people are accepting Islam because of the situation that we're in right now, where you something has happened that we could have never imagined happening, brothers and sisters. That we could have never imagined that people would see the reality of what Israel is. We could have never imagined this. We could have never phantomed that there will come a day where Americans will begin to understand how poisonous the idea of Zionism is. And now, American youth all across the country, you've seen what's happening in the college campuses? Mm -hmm. huh? College campus protests are not decreasing, they're increasing. Okay, and the more that, the, with an iron fist, that they come down on the college campus students, the more their, their youth, their fresh blood, the more their, their vigor for, for only proves to them that this system is corrupt. It has one set of laws for one group of people, has another set of laws for another group of people. And so America is waking up. The American youth is waking up. And the American youth is understanding that the political system is rigged. That there's no answers in the White House. There's no answers in the Senate. So Netanyahu gives a talk and criticizes the American students in the American campuses. I think he forgot he's the Prime Minister of Israel, not America. Did anybody see his talk? Huh? Did you see his, uh, Netanyahu's talk? And then, after Netanyahu talked, his puppy dog came along in the White House and gave a talk to the similar effect. And then after his puppy dog came along, the Congress passed a law, an anti-Semitism law. And then you say, <coughs> what did I start off with? Allah does not accept what? Partial obedience. Allah does not accept partial obedience. And what I mean by that is that we have individual obligations in Islam, and we also have collective obligations in Islam. And if we are not good in our individual obligations as well as our collective <laughs> obligations, then we are putting ourselves in a situation where it's where divine help doesn't come. Divine help doesn't only come when you're a good individual. It does not. Divine help comes at the collective level when we're collectively doing good. And it comes at the individual level when we're doing individually good. And so, like the Prophet said, how many there are whose du'as are thrown back to them because of their disobedience? And so, the first thing I want to clarify to you is something that is now happening that is very historical in America. And that is the first time America is waking up to the disease of Zionism. And now, because of the political clout, and because the elections are just up ahead, and because of the situation Muslims find themselves in, what has now happened is America, for the first time, has stopped a shipment of bombs to Israel. But it didn't happen out of goodwill, don't get me wrong. It happened only out of political expediency. It only happened because of political, uh, political reasons. And then the second thing, Biden gave an interview in which he confessed that American bombs have been used to kill civilians. Anybody saw the interview? American bombs have been used to kill American civilians. And then Israel comes along listening to Biden stopping the shipment and his interview that he gave that we killed innocent people using American bombs. And, you know, he had to do that if he once has any chance in the election. He has to say that. Because the Democrats are the people that are the students that are protesting. The, you know, the Democrats is the intellectual side of America. It's the students. It's the Harvard and Yale and Princeton. They're all mostly Democrats. So he has to say that. Otherwise, he'll lose the election. And your other option isn't much better either. Trump is not really much of an option. And Biden is not. They're just... Two sides of the same? Same thing. So now, what is happening from the Quranic perspective? <coughs> Allah declared in the Quran two things that I want all of you to be aware of. 
this awareness, I want you to consider this. That after 50, 60 years, they will say that America stood up against the Jews. But they will not tell you why America stood up against the Jews. If at any other time somebody stood up against something that was being done because of a people, they, if they don't tell you why did they have hate against somebody. <clears throat> and this is how they tried to do revisionist history, revise the history. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran a very interesting statement. And we are seeing that statement come true today. What is that? ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ أَيْنَ مَا ثُقِفُوا We have heaped degradation and humiliation on them, wherever they may live. Meaning anti-Semitism will come and bite them eventually no matter where they're living in the world. Anti-Semitism is a reality that is accepted in the Quran. And the Jewish people are also very aware of an the idea of anti-Semitism. And the Quran is fully aware of the idea of anti-Semitism. But the Quran gives a reason for that. What is the reason? that there is a rise, that there will be a rise of anti-Semitism. So Allah says, ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ Now notice these words. Very, very profound. I don't have time to go into details. I wish I had three hours to talk upon these, this subject alone. But listen to what Allah said. ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ أَيْنَ مَا ثُقِفُوا Humiliation is heaped upon them wherever they may live, illa, except in two conditions. Illa bi hablim min Allah, except if they're granted a rope from Allah, then they won't be humiliated. What is the rope from Allah? What does it mean? Except they're granted a rope from Allah. Meaning the rope of Allah is the Quran. Hablullah al Mateen, the Prophet said. So if, if they are under the protection of the Qur'an, if they are under the protection of the Qur'an, then they will have their safety. Even till today, they have to be in Muslim lands because the non-Muslim lands did not accept them. And so, إِلَّا بِحَبْلِ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَوْ حَبْلِ مِنَ Who knows the ayah? أَوْ حَبْلِ مِنَ Yes. What are the human beings saying? That the international rules of the world, the international rules of humanity, they can either hold on to the protection of Allah under the Qur'an, or they can hold on to the protection given to them by the laws of humanity. That's what Qur'an is saying. ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ or they have a rope given to them by the Quran, or they have a rope given to them by humanity. Humanity makes a UN charter, makes Geneva Conventions, makes laws in the United Nations. As long as you abide by this, you're okay. But when you start breaking international law, when you start breaking the basic laws of humanity, when you start breaking the laws that even a normal human being understands that this is wrong to do, then Allah said, then I will bring anti-Semitism to your face. And this is what we're seeing. That the world is waking up from Germany to France to across America saying this is wrong. This is against international, this is an international crime. This is a genocide. The whole world is waking up, and because of that, people are appreciating Islam. And because of that, because of Palestine, people are appreciating Islam. So what does Allah say then? ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِ I wish I had time, I don't have time. ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ أَيْنَ مَا ثُقِفُوا إِلَّا بِحَبْلِ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَوْ حَبْلِ مِنَ النَّاسِ 
ذلك بأنهم This is because what? They cross every line. And when they cross every line, and they cross the line of basic human decency, then Allah says anti-Semitism comes to them. But this is the beginning. Where will history end? Where will America go? Because America for the first time is in conflict, open conflict, though how subtle it may be, but open conflict against its best. You know, the baby America loved, and the baby America was suckling. And the this baby that is actually a monster now, some Americans are like, wait, this is not the baby we should be loving. This is a monster in our hands that we're feeding. And some Americans are waking up to this. And they're saying, well, no, we need to stop this. And even now Biden has had to stop taking, giving them weapons. And Biden has had to give an interview against them. And then Israel came back and made its own comments. I'm not going into that right now. But the point I'm trying to make is, where does this all end? The beginning of the conflict has started. It ends with a verse in Surah Al-Isra, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجِعْنَاكُمْ لَفِيفَةً And we will bring you all from all the different parts of the world. Because Allah did not allow the Jewish people back to Jerusalem for 2,000 years, more than that. And then Allah said, before Jesus come, we will bring you all what? Back. So I asked you to ask yourself, what will happen in America that will cause all the pri privileged Zionists of America to go back to Israel? What will happen here economically? What will happen here in terms of anti-Semitism? Who will the people blame when there is an economic collapse? Where will the people go from here if there is an economic collapse? But back to Israel, where every Jewish person has the right to go back to. Not Palestinians. Palestinians don't have a birthright to go back to Israel. But Jewish people who were born in Germany and America and Russia, they have a right to go back to where? Israel. And Allah says, وَجِعْنَاكُمْ nafifa." We'll bring you back in your multitude of your diverse groups. We'll bring you right back to Israel. It will start with what? It will start with global anti-Semitism. ضُرِبَتْ عَلَيْهِمُ الذِّلَّةُ وَالْمَسْكَنَةُ أَيْنَمَا ثُقِفُوا إِلَّا بِحَبْلِ مِنَ اللَّهِ أَوْ حَبْلِ مِنَ النَّاسِ We will heap degradation and humiliation upon them, except if they're under the protection of the Qur'an, or they're under the protection of humanity, humanitarian rules. But if they break that, then anti-Semitism against them will rise because of the transgressions that they've done. And the end result is, they will then have to flee. That's what happened in Germany. What did they have to do? Flee. Then why did they have to flee? Because of anti-Semitism. And anti-Semitism is a divine law. When is it the divine law? It's the divine law when a group of people break all laws of humanity. It's the divine will. It's the divine law. If you break all the rules of humanity, And so humiliation and degradation will be heaped upon them. And now, as a result of this issue, the issue of Palestine and Israel, America is more divided than ever. America is more confused than ever. America is more polarized than ever. There almost seems like to be no difference between one side or another side, right wing and left wing. They're all bad choices, especially when it comes to the American upcoming elite, the cream of the crop, the intelligentsia of America, the youth. They're very confused. And so this is a good time for them, maybe Allah will replace the Muslims, the 25% Muslims who are leaving Islam, the youth. Allah will replace it by many of these people who had a heart to go and protest for the, for the sake of what they saw the truth. Maybe Allah will open, so many people's hearts have opened towards Islam because of what's happening in Palestine. So we'll end that Allah opens every single demonstrator that demonstrates out of their heart of goodness, 
for the state, for for the sake, meaning the goodness of their heart, their good fitrah, that Allah guides them to Islam. Allah makes the, this situation a situation that will become an, a door to open so that many people in multitude, inshallah, will come to Islam. And that America becomes aware of the, of the monster it is raising. And that America becomes more aware of this, uh, the, the problems of, uh, the, the embedded problems of Zionism. So, inshallah, أقول قولي هذا أستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين والمسلمات السلام عليكم وهب ذان أن نجد خطبة للصلاة